Hello, hello, and welcome back to Unfamiliar Town. You're on our way, now that I found Paul, we're on our way to Moonbrick or something, but we had to make a pit stop because a certain little guy uh, behind me right here uh, kind of dropped dead fighting a battle with some baboons and uh, magi, or one magus. Woof, woof, woof. Oh? Uh, hey! We finally got our last party member. We don't need no princess. We don't need no princess. <laughs> I don't have that key, but I would like that key because I think that's how I reached Mr. Bonfire over there. What are you doing? Oh, words cannot well express my shame. Stricken with terror, I did flee the castle in its time of direst need. And now Moonbrick is... And Princess Elaine. Oh, Princess Highness. All right. I guess that's why you're standing in the corner. Like, if I were to step to the left, I would exit the town. So, people have to approach you really carefully if they want to talk to you without getting sent to the, the realms of the overworld. Munahan. Okay. Oh, is that the name of this town? Munahan. Welcome, Misty friend. Here in this place of many meetings, do the peoples of the world come together? Thank you. Oh, you got Tombola. Do Tombola tickets have... Have they magically appeared to me? No. I don't have any more. Pretty friend. Hast thou... No. Purchase thee sufficient goods from the item shop, and thou art sure to receive one. So they're, they're like, man... You got money. How about you waste it at the Tombola? Uh, I guess it's not like wasting it because it's a ticket, so it's not like I'm actually having anything at stake. But still, like that's so weird that they just decide to give <laughs> you Tombola tickets. Go, go gamble, guy. <laughs> Shouldst thou wish to visit Moonbrook, thou needst only journey a very short way to the south and west of this place. Thank you. Go the first southward, then west. But beware the beast that shall surely seek to make thine every step thy last. Talk to my friend uh, down there. He, he knows what that's like. He knows what it's like to have a final step. Ooh, Iron Lance, that sounds beautiful. I love that. Can I equip? Good. Okay, we're starting to see stuff that Paul cannot equip. Good, good. That's interesting. So... Again, I've heard that he couldn't wear the heavy stuff, but chain is not so heavy as to not be equipped. And I guess he's got a knife, which is pretty cool. Oh, you're selling divine daggers here too? What, did people just go to the item shop and say, Man, I need some... <laughs> I need some knives to, you know, cut some... some uh, food for dinner tonight. Uh, do you have anything? Well, I mean, we do have a, a divine dagger. Just this holy relic, if you want that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That's a, that's a good steak knife. That's Let me just garnish that steak with some medicinal herbs. Also a shield. Which I guess you can use that as like a plate. So she just sells... That's the food shop. I haven't talked to you, oop, you yet. To said that a miraculous cloak lieth in the tower, in this land which alloweth mortal men to ride the wind like unto the birds. Though he leapt from... Or he leaped from atop the tallest of precipices, the wearer of this enchanted item will float unharmed to the land below. Remember these words, friend, for they shall surely serve thee well. I know not how exactly, but they shall. Huh. It is a perilous world indeed in which we find ourselves. Why, but a few days ago, I myself was sat, set upon by a common cut purse on the way to Kanak. Luckily for me, the thief was soon apprehended. I dare say he languished this in the dungeon there still. The villain. <laughs> Tis no more than a than he doth deserve. 
He would, he uh, disagrees, but yeah, I've, I've met him. He's a pretty cool guy. Oh my gosh, we're all like occupying the same spot now. Dog, Paul, and myself are just like partying at the desk. Well, I think I've explored this town to its fullest. It's, it's a small little place. It's cute. It's homey. It's, it's very comfy. We need to go south and then west. And I luckily have a map so I can figure out. Yeah. It's like south, then west, a bunch, then south. Oh, five enemies! Whoa! Somnolance and... Track Mage? Uh-oh. Oh, Paul already has 20 freaking MP. The Madman. That's amazing. So, uh, I'm gonna... Talk, attack one of the Track Mage, and I'm gonna spell the sizzle on it. Oh, it only... Works on one group of enemy? Well, Somnolant. Oh, oops. It's funny that it attacks only like enemies. What? Oh no! We got uh, debuffs now. Not just status effects, but like actual debuffs. And the sleep boys are no more. Time to finish things off. Yeah, so now that we have at least... Oh nice! Level up, that's 91 experience, that's a decent chunk, so not super surprised. Strength by 3, agility by 2, resilience by 1, maximum HP and MP by 2, squelch. Oh, there we go, that's nice. So Paul is kind of like our healer, I wonder if that makes a... Uh... Oh, is that... Is that supposed to be Moonbrook? Do I have to step on the pain tiles? Oh, I should have cast a spell. Ah, whatever, these are just... Fat rats. It's not the worst thing around. So is this what happens whenever you burn down a castle, like the whole everything around it becomes poisonous. This does look like the place. There's still some lingering fire. Oh no, no, no that's a soul. that's a soul. Woe is me. I am he who was lord and master of this once proud castle of Moonbrook. My dear, dear daughter, the Princess Elaine hath been cursed to roam the land as a common mongrel. A stray dog. Hey, I... I, I okay, I did have her in my party. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that she should suffer such humiliation is... Oh, whoa, hey. Smog. Oh, I can't use squelch in battle, so if I get poisoned, I have to wait till I'm out of battle in order to do that uh, shenanigans. Oh, interesting. Isn't I okay? When it says it isn't affected, that doesn't mean that it uh, is immune. It just means that uh, it avoided. It kind of did a saving throw, a successful saving throw on uh, that magical spell. That's something that always confuses me. Like, I remember I was confused in Daggerfall for the longest time. Like, save against uh, spells used to confuse me. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I guess spells doesn't work on this guy. And so I was always confused because it happened on, like, nearly everything. Corpse Corporal. This guy's got HP. I do like how this place is not only in ruins, but now is like overrun with monsters. It's pretty rad. 
Behold, the forces of Thal Hargon do batter down the gates. Save us, goddess, deliver us. Ah. Oh, I see a treasure chest, though. I'm just noticing this now. Didn't even see it before. That's genius on my part. Also, with a variety of enemies, I was saying, like, I don't think uh, Final Fantasy Legend did that at all. I've learned the errors of my way. It does have variety. I've just never gone any bit past probably, like, the first ten minutes of the game. I've started that game at least a dozen times, but I haven't gone very far because I do intend to play it one day. But, again, I do like this presentation. <laughs> and same with... Uh, Final Fantasy Legend, but that game doesn't even like showcase all the enemies. It just shows like a single skeleton per group of multiple skeletons, for example. Okay, well we got no M. Or is that that was level up for me? Lols. Okay, never mind. I didn't realize that. I was like no MP. I'm mostly looking for the HP and the MP. Two HP is all right though. Any stats are fine by me. Nothing. Nothing. Don't have the jailer key. Oh, he's defending. Ooh. ooh. Hey, there we go. Now we got Paul level up. Strength by two, agility by two, resilience by one. There we go, five MP. I'm only down to 11. Mm. I gotta be careful because I do need to have spots for heals and poison removals if I need it later on. To the east of this castle, in a place once may be a speed four bridges, there standeth a su a su separating swamp. You know what that time it is. It's a uh, dictionary time. Separate. Sub. Sub. Hey, oh no. Suburate. Sub. I don't know. To produce or discharge pus as a wound. Maturate. Bleh. Bleh. Beneath its foul surface lies Ra's sacred mirror. Ah, would that I have passed on this knowledge ere. I breathed my last. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. Someone's in trouble. Hey, I got I got something to help me out. And it's called a friend. Oh, I have another Tumbola ticket. How did this happen? I when did I get that? I I just never noticed it. Most excellent. Actually, no. I think we're pretty good. No, you know what? I'm going to heal too.
Much better. Look at that. Oh, wait. This is the wrong approach. I thought I was going closer and closer to that courtyard, but I'm on the wrong side. guys are really not easy to deal damage to. It's kind of cool. I mean, I think it's funny that they're... Oh, there's an entrance out there. Oh, fun. It says, hey, why don't you step through the gross, 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 swampy... Gwampy. That's a lot of HP right here. There's there's a uh, good damage on one of them, so that's happy day. How much does it cost to sizzle? Three. Uh, I'll do it though. Maybe that kills the second guy right there. No, not quite. Dazzle. I don't know what it does, but it's, it's dazzling, I guess. Come on, come on. There's the model. That's what we need. I'm gonna stop by uh, a beautiful town and uh, heal up a little bit. I'll be back to worry about stuff like that place. But there is the courtyard, which I can't seem to reach by normal means. Maybe there's uh, some other break in the wall at some point upon which I can travel over the top side or the left side without being sent to the overworld. You know what? As long as I'm getting experience and levels up for that Paul boy, that is fine by me. What's over in the mountains that way? Nothing of importance. Nice, okay. Paul is killing these guys in one hit, and now we are losing our defense, but these guys don't hit very hard, so that's fine. Oh, hey, what's this? An Oaken Club. Time to sell that. First off, and equip from there. No. That just shows my currently equipped stuff. If I transfer, then I can see how good something is. So the Cypress Stick will bring him down by 13 points, and the Oaken Club will bring him down by 17. Or, no, just 7. Why would I say 17? So Cypress Stick really is... Buh? Is it really that bad? That's all the more curious to me at this point. Like, no one's gonna start with it. Like, I started with a sword. He started with the, uh, an oaken rod, an oaken club. So, like, why, why is the stick an item? There's, like, no point for 
to it at all. Time to sell you some cool stuff like this stick. I almost wanted to keep that stick. And I'm gonna buy an iron lance. Transfer this to Paul. No? That doesn't suit Paul very well. Oh no, no, that doesn't suit me very well. It suits Paul very well. Full plate is 1,200. Steel shield is 2,000, so I'll have to keep those in mind. Steel broadsword. I like how Paul can equip a lance. Hmm. So, I mean, I already got some pretty good equipment, but it's not the best around. You got some better options, and I'm excited for it. You, buddy. Actually, back it up. That's too late for that. Let's get a heart. Another heart. Close my eyes just so I don't get distracted by anything, press it while my eyes are closed in. There we go! A little fanfare. I congratulate the the heartily the first prize of a medicinal or the fifth prize, not the first prize, the medicinal herb. Gambling sucks. Let's go buy one more medicinal herb. I know that, like, the big prizes are, like, really gosh dang worthwhile, but, like, how the heck am I ever supposed to be able to get that? Let's heal up and be ready for our next trip down to Moonbrook Ruins, which we shall see more of next time. Hope to see you then. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll find out more about that ruins. If not, then uh, there's still a lot more to explore now that we've reached the little southern isles below where we currently, or previously, were all lost looking for that Paul guy for the longest time so you know what there's still lots to do we'll, we'll see what happens next time next time see you then